Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to talk about the big event of Field Artillery Bullock. You know, the, the, the decider on if you're going to graduate on time or if you're going to get recycled and have to redo the whole thing. I'm talking about the safety test. So first thing I want to say is relax. Relax. If you are doing decently through Bullock, you're probably going to be fine. In my class, we had over 100 people and we only had four people fail and have to recycle and most of them only failed by a little bit. So relax. All right, so for the safety test, you have four hours before lunch to do the test. You turn it in, then you have a one hour lunch, and then you come back, you get your test back with what your score is at that point. And you have two hours to correct your mistakes. During those two hours, you can go up to the teachers as many times as you want and be like, is this right? No. Is this right? No. Is this right? Yes. You know what I'm saying? But be strategic about it because the more time you spend walking and waiting in line, the less time you have to actually make corrections. But just know that you can you can do that if you want. Now, if you know what you're doing, it's really not that bad, especially with the two hour correction time. Because as you probably know by now, if you're in field artillery bullock, that gunnery is very right or you're wrong. And you can make just tiny mistakes and be 100% wrong. You can still conceptually get it and just, you know, have interpolated wrong or rounded wrong or, you know, just had a brain fart and wrote the wrong number for whatever reason. All of a sudden it's wrong. But you still know what you're doing. You just, oh, duh, why did I do that? Boom, quick, quick fix and oh, look, you got those points back. Personally, I finished the first part in two hours and then I kind of looked over it for an hour, you know, kind of casually looked over it. I think I went to the bathroom and like just, you know, checking some, checking my site and checking stuff like that. And then I turned it in at, with three hours. So I still had an hour before lunch. And when I came back after lunch, I had a 77.5. And within 10 or 15 minutes, I got that up to 100. So it's really, you know, if you know what you're doing, it's really not that bad. Like my mistakes were dumb. <laughs> they were silly mistakes that I knew what I was doing. It was just, you know, you're taking a multiple hour test, you're probably gonna make small mistakes here and there. And you'll get punished for it because it's gunnery, but you still know what you're doing. Now, one thing I should say is that your grade after lunch, like from what you turned in the first time, is what you get for your score. But you can get that up to an 80. So let's say you turn the test in and you come back after lunch and you have a 50. And then you correct it up to 100 you get an 80. If you turn it in and you get in a 90 and you correct it up to 100, you get a 90. So I didn't know that or I probably would have spent more time and you know, probably would have done my, all my safety tees twice, but you know, oh well. So for the safety test, just like all the other tests, you're gonna have a practical exercise a few days before the test. And I thought that was a decent gauge of the, 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 test, ex it's, it, the test itself in that, you know, if you do really well on the PE, you're gonna be fine on the test. But on, by the same token, if you do really poorly on the PE, you're probably gonna struggle. So what you should do is you should get with people who did well on the PE, ask them questions, study with them, because you really don't wanna recycle bullets, like you just, you don't. So the PE and the safety test consisted of exos min QE problems, so know how to do those, safety tees, and some conceptual questions. So to prepare for this, you know, make sure Obviously, you go over those things, but for the safety tees, don't just look at the ones that are on the PE and be like, oh, that's probably what's going to be on the test, because it might not be. So make sure you know you have examples of all the different types, you know, high angle versus low angle, pre hoc versus post hoc, 105 versus 155, you know, using range K versus using a GFT setting, you know, all those different things, HE, smoke, alum, and all the combinations of all of those, because you never know what's going to be on the test. Now, I I had a secret weapon during the test. You know, I actually didn't end up using that much because I think just making it had made me more prepared for the test anyway. But I have something that if you do, it'll be very hard to not pass the safety test. What I'm talking about is making a safety tee binder. So in this binder, I literally have examples from all throughout the course, you know, mod two and the homeworks and the practical exercises and the extra, extra practice and the FDC sims, all that stuff. You put them in here, and all of a sudden, I probably have, you know, 20 different safety tees in here. All that I know they're all the right answer because, you know, I got them graded and all that. And I'd label them on the top, you know, what is this one? Okay, it's pre you know, 155, uh, charge, whatever, and here's where you can find the actual problem. You know, stuff like that. So if you label them like this, and you find one on the test, you're like, oh crap, I don't remember how to do a 105 postdoc 
low angle, whatever. Oh, maybe I have an example. Oh, look, I do. This, okay, yeah, so I don't have to do a muzzle velocity correction because the 105 TFT is made for the 105, so therefore you don't need to do a muzzle velocity correction. Oh, duh. So if you have a safety T binder, you're gonna be very well prepared. And I would recommend start making this at Mod 2 and use it on the Mod 2 test. I'm pretty sure I put it in the Mod 2 test advice video. You'd be dumb not to because it's an easy way to figure out what you need, what you don't need. You can put notes on that thing. It's very, very helpful. Let me just, it's, it's very helpful. But yeah, that, that's the safety test. You know, it's really not as bad as you probably think it is. But that being said, if you don't know anything about safety, you're not, you're not gonna pass. So make sure you know what you're doing. Make a safety binder. Get, if you don't know what you're doing, you're completely just lost in the sauce. Get with people who know what they're doing, ask them questions, pick their brain and all that and you know, you'll be fine. Anyways, that's all I've got, guys. So I really hope this is helpful. Please, please, please let me know, you know, comment, hey, I use this and I passed, or hey, you know, I use this and I passed, but they changed the test this way now, or it would've been useful if you, you gave this advice or stuff like that, you know, because I want this not only to be helpful for a while, I want this to be helpful for several classes to come. Anyways, that's all I've got. So until next time, keep killing it.